San Francisco, where we are starting to see cases rise. Now some are keeping their guards up despite the change in that travel mask policy. KPI's Fon Jocelyn Moran joins us now in the studio. And Jocelyn, you spoke with quite a few people who are concerned about all of this. Right, we have been for the last few days. It's a lot of the same reactions. And really, after it was announced that masks wouldn't be enforced in airports, other airlines, there's been a bit of anxiety. So we talked with health experts. They tell us what to keep in mind when making decisions for ourselves and our families. I'm not going to be one of those people that takes off my mask. It's been long overdue. I think we're all ready to move on. Reactions you'll hear throughout the Bay Area, with mask requirements no longer being enforced in settings that have usually been the exception. Millions of people travel through airports. For San Francisco resident Maria Martinez, it's not just about herself. She says she's thinking of her elderly parents. It's really nice to hug them. So, you know, for me, like I said, as long as I can see my parents and if it needs wearing a mask, that's what I'm going to continue to do. And that's a factor UCSF infectious disease specialist Dr. Peter Chin Hong says you should consider as we navigate making decisions based on the risk to us and those around us. For people who are most at risk, which is older folks who are unboosted, um, those who are immune compromised, those who are unvaccinated or people who live with any of these groups, uh, you may want to be more conserv conservative and wear a higher grade mask. Chin Hong says cases locally are rising and numbers are likely higher with many taking at home COVID tests, but hospitalizations remain low. I want to reassure everyone that uh, things are very, very different from where we were a year ago. And with all the changes, Chin Hong says moving forward, one of the most important things you can do is have humility and be kind as people move at their own pace. Whatever makes you want to you know, go out and enjoy the day and really get back out there, I mean, that's I think what matters most at the end of the day. And that's such an important point to always be keeping in mind, just being kind. And the San Francisco Department of Public Health says residents should be prepared for future challenges with COVID, like another potential surge. That includes keeping a supply of COVID at home rapid tests, keeping masks handy, and knowing how to reach a doctor in case you were to get COVID. So some good things to be thinking about mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And always just navigate the situation you're in and figure out what people's comfort levels are. Right. Just a lot of uh, thinking about others right now. Yeah, there's been a lot of changes really the last two years. Mm -hmm. it's Something we've had to figure out. So at this point, I mean, just like Dr. Chen Hong said, let's just be nice to others, you know? Yeah. Well, we should always be doing anyways. That is true. Always <laughs> be doing that. We shouldn't have to remind you to do that, but.